I have something to admit. I lied. Or at least I didn't tell the whole truth. I know, I know, you expect better from people who own their very own YouTube channel, but hear me out. In my last video, I talked about thermal runaway in the bed of my printer. And I made it sound like I just decided to replace the thermistor because the old one was ratty. See, the thing is, I had to repair the thermistor when it broke a few months ago. So when prints started failing from thermal runaway, I assumed my patch job had failed. So I went straight on Amazon and bought a new thermistor for the bed. It was only after I started filming the video that I realized that the prints were failing from thermal runaway, not bed thermal runaway. This means the hot end was acting up, not the bed. By this point, with parts in one hand and a finished script in the other, I decided to make the video anyway, and I'd just pretend that was my plan from the beginning. So I went back to testing. After running the print a few times, I realized that it was failing at about the same point on the second layer. It's almost like it was a G-code error, but changing the G-code didn't solve the problem. And interestingly, smaller parts didn't have the problem. It was only the larger parts that failed. If you watch the temperature, you can see that as soon as the print fan turns on, the hot end temperature starts to drop. That's when I took a close look at the hot end itself and saw the issue. Part of the hot end actually melted. This piece of plastic should look something like this. If you look closely, the hole right here is where the thermistor sits in the hot end. Right now, my printhead is blowing air right over the thermistor making the hot end temperature read lower than it actually is. Now, the printer's working fine. This little piece of plastic was causing the entire issue. I'm still not sure why the print melted in the first place though, so if anyone's seen this before, drop me a comment and let me know what's going on. I haven't printed anything higher temp than ABS, and I rarely print that, so I really don't know why it would have melted. But with that said, this is a simple fix, so a short video. Thanks for watching.